Jazz for Habitat, October 22nd, the Paramount Theater. Oh. Carol is next to us here. She's helping to promote that. That's going to be a fun event. And uh, Allison Beasley, who you hear on WK on the weekday mornings, she's here. I'm not sure what she's doing. Rummaging through her oh, own she's purse. She's looking Getting through her pretty. purse. Lipstick. Lipstick. That's good. And um, Chapstick. Today. It is the Shred Day today here at the Farmer's Market. The credit unions are joining forces to bring the shredder to the Farmer's Market. And if you could just pull up to the north side of the market, actually, and you can just drop off your things to be shredded. Yeah, we need to tape a microphone here. Well, you got to Did you tape it up on the top yep. there? Well, we're gonna tape tape other things. Yeah. All repairs are temporary. Mm-hmm. That's a good good. I don't care what anybody says. Duct tape. And somebody, your friend at home, just came with a banana. That's not a farmer's market. Not food. to shred. That banana has been imported. It won't Carl be shredded. Carl every once in a while. Brings a banana to the farmer's market. It throws some people off. Producer Milana is on her way back. She was over getting some information about the shredding process. She's going to come back and report. report. Okay. Oh, here she is. She, From the industrial. And she was wearing that brightly colored she jacket the other week. Now she, it's just pink. But she's still got the belt from the other jacket. Go, Milana, what's going on over there? Um, they're with the credit. They're with the Credit Union of America. Credit Union of America. And they are inviting anyone to bring all their unwanted documents and bills and other things. Mm-hmm. And no boxes. But they're putting them all in these big trash cans. Okay. And as soon as they have two trash cans full, the truck over there, the mobile document destruction, mm-hmm. they're going to run it through the shredder, and they're going to shred everyone's documents that they don't want anymore. Very good. So usually you would have to sit by your uh, your uh, little waste paper basket and run a, run a few pages at a time through a shredder. Today that's not the case because you can just pour it all in there, and they'll shred it all at once for free. So they're collecting it in the great pump. And then they'll shred it once they have enough. So we haven't heard any actual shredding happen. No. 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 So they come out in those little strips like you get at home? Do strips or cross cut? Do they tell you that? We get confetti? Can we make confetti here? Because we're going to have a party. Yeah. Confetti to make. Yeah. Went to the priest. We want a big uh, big party next week when the show starts. We're going to throw confetti all over the. No, we'll have to clean that up. No, no, we won't do that. Uh, hey, about this time on the show, we usually do the Miller Hydraulic Ileana Race Report. The season is over for racing, and uh, so that's kind of a sad thing. But it's but there wasn't a bad last Sunday. Last Sunday, yeah, we didn't even get to talk about that. Um, Uncle Paul oh, was there. Last Sunday, that's right. Yeah, it's a, it was so long ago. Oh, I don't know. It was like a six-hour event. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time. They, they brought, you know, for you the know, end of the season easy. like that, they just say, hey, everybody, come and race. No matter what kind of car you got, you can have a... We'll find a division for you. And yeah. So that took a while. It did. It did. And the exciting thing was that a lot of the competitors were topless. Well, now, wait a minute. See, I, knew, I knew Carl would be interested if we told yeah, him that. It perks up just a little bit. They, they, they cut off the roof of the car. Now, why, why would they want to do that? It's it's just it's some an old tradition from back in the day when they would cut off the roof for the last race of the season. Ah, so they, they, we won't be seeing those cars next season. Well, no, they put the roof back on. Yeah, really? It goes right back on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not they, essential. They rivet. Ah, okay. Just rivet things together. Yeah, they still have a, the roll bars above them. Oh, okay. It was an exciting street yeah, stock be a safety race. Issue. You see uh, Jay Hamilton sitting in that convertible. Yeah. I mean, you get you get to see him work it, you know. Yeah. Aero, were the, were the laps faster because they didn't, you know, no, aerodynamically to that? Same speed. No. But that it, depends more on the track than the car. It was neat to see when, you know, a guy will do the, the fist pump when he wins. Yeah. And you, sometimes you see that in the car, you know, guys will be excited. You can kind of tell as they cross the finish line. Yeah. But he, as you cross the finish line. You can see the whole body. You can see, yeah, you can see his hand coming out at the top of the car, yeah. which I thought Over was pretty cool. And then he it. jumped right through the top wow. when he jumped out. So, that was probably the most exciting and different thing that went on. The high side hustler, of course, he was. There. Hustler. He won, Jason but he doesn't Jason. cut up. None of those guys no, cut up. No, Jason Fager. Jason Fager. Jason Fager. Okay. That's Jason, right? And he benefited from Unzicker's breakdown. I think. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ryan Unzicker. It's a sad story of a guy Mike nicknameless. No, 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 no. That's another racer. But nicknameless racer. 
It was and a, in, a in first really indeed. good racer that if you you think if he had better equipment, he would be dominating some of them. Who's that? Unsicker. Oh, I think he's got the good equipment. Well, I, he, he broke down the last time he won a feature. He broke down in the last lap. Yeah. yeah. Things happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. So that uh, but it was uh, it was a good show. It was a little cool, but Cody Club. Yeah. He won. Kid from Cold City. Right. Somebody you know from Cold City. Oh, look at those dogs. Oh, that, that, who's your that, modified that, winner? Potential. Modified yeah. winner um, was Nick Allen. Oh, Nick, Nick Allen. Allen. That's right. Not yeah. the Nick Allen we've had on the show. No, but the Bush other Nick Allen, who's helps. who's had some bad breaks in the past. Yeah. And yeah. It's good to see him win. He's from Wheatfield, Indiana. Ah. He's about six foot four. Maybe ah. six foot five. So he yeah. just have to have the top on his Oh, he didn't take the top oh, off. No, no, those guys. It was only a street stack took oh, the tops okay. off. And then, uh, yeah, he's about six, six four, six five, about a... Uh, 170 pounds. Oh. It's a tall little and thin. wisp of a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Abnormally thin, we call it in our family. Ah, okay. <laughs> but the, uh, but the farmer's was, market getting into full swing now today. Yeah, we're picking up foot traffic here. And some dog traffic. Dog traffic, that's four foot. That, in that case, eight. Oh, well, yeah, that's two, though. Which reminds me of the old Tommy Kroll saying that, Eight wheels will turn better than four. Mm-hmm. So if you go into a corner with another car, you can turn the corner better, easier. But 12 wheels, no. No, no, that's too many. That's and you're four in trouble. too many. But uh, so. it is the, uh, the final week here at the farmer's market. If you were waiting to come out to get your pumpkin, to get your final chance to get some peppers, some gourds, some potatoes, oh, there's other things. Interesting question. Yeah. I think. Of all the pumpkins sold, how many are actually pumpkins? They won't carve. What do you think the percentage would be? Now, you're talking about those that are that are not processed, just ones no, that right. go to stores. Family go buys. How many turn into carved? Commercial sales. Sales. And How many kind of set there for looks? I would say it's uh, 40% carved. 40? Yeah. Well, see, so you, you, you look lower. around, you see some real little pumpkins. Now, those pumpkins, are you counting those, too? Uh, I, I, no, I wouldn't no. count the little ones. You little would count... One big enough that to be carvable. Correct. I would say it's 45% carved. I'd say, I'd say lower than that. I'd say lower. I'd I see a lot lower. of them just sitting around for 35. Say, say a third. A third. Yeah. A third. That's probably. Because I tried third. carving one the other day to make it look like Carl, and it, well, it didn't work. It didn't pan out. But then after I put it in the oven, it started looking more like him. <laughs> it's kind of it It's right up thing. and wrinkly. It's just purely <laughs> experimental. That low rumble you hear in the background, that's that's shredding taking oh, place. Oh, yeah. That's shredding happening. Good thing yeah. Milana got back here before that happened. Well, let's take a quick break while the shredding is going on. Take it on. And uh, here on Talk 8, AM 1320, WKAM. 